A gentleman by the name of Lee Goldberg, who has written a book called Unsold Television Pilots. Fascinating. Describes over 2,600 television pilots filmed between 1955 and 1988. None, apparently, which were good enough to make it in a series. Can you imagine? 2,600 of them? Why TV pilots fail? The thing about pilots is you're trying very hard to second guess the tastes of America and what's going to work. And also, it's a question of time periods. What periods are the networks trying to shore up? Remember, we're talking about a war out there. Every industry has pilots in one form or another. Ford has the cars they try that we never mm -hmm. see. Halston has the dress designs. Television parades their research and development as entertainment. Even the business behind the business is show business. Well, they, they, they just... Okay, how many times have you watched TV and wondered, how did this get on the air? Man, you've been watching too much TV. Well, the amazing thing is, for every show that sells, there's like a hundred that don't get past their pilot episode. Like these cop shows. Peter Boyle is a tough, ill-mannered cop who is run down in the line of duty. But that's not the end of his story. No, no. He's reincarnated. Surprise! As a streetwise bulldog in Puchinski. What are you gonna do now? Well, first I'm gonna try licking myself, and then I'm gonna catch my killer. The talking dog teams up with his astonished former partner to put the bite on crime. It's touching. Look at me. I've become a dog. It's all sinking in now. It's poignant. But it's life. It's precious life. It's unforgettable. You're a dog. I'm a cop! This is ridiculous. You think that's ridiculous? We haven't even started yet. In K-9000, a maverick cop accidentally gets a microchip implanted in his ear. Now he can hear the thoughts of his K-9 partner. You're the only one who can hear me. Dog's got a supercomputer installed in his head. Well, yeah. They also installed something else. What the hell is that? I'm getting you an outside line. You're amazing. No, just cellular. That's right. The dog is a cell phone. Can you believe they made this? Probably because it was from the guy who wrote Die Hard, but that's no excuse. <laughs> Forgotten concepts and broken dreams. Off you go. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. There will always be the best TV shows that never were.